greetings. Great to see you here in our K Gallery. Yeah, lovely to be here. Is this your first time playing here? Yeah, it is. Yeah, first time. First time in Milton Keynes. First time at this gallery. It's nice. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Seems like a good place. And uh, what is the theme of today's, of this evening's performance? The theme. Um, I guess there's a. Uh, I mean, the the reason we're here is it's part of a UK tour we're doing. Uh, me and Tom Sison, the trumpet player I'm playing with tonight, uh, and we're playing some original music of compositions of both of ours, and also some sort of loose interpretations of of uh, jazz standards and some free improvisations. So, yeah, a few different ideas, and we're just experimenting and seeing where it goes and having fun. So. And how long have you known Tom? Uh, Tom Sison. Yeah, Tom Sison. I've I've known him since uh, we both started our undergraduate degree in Birmingham at the Conservatoire in 2011. So yeah, six, five and a half years, I would say. But actually, we only really started playing together in our final year studying. So been playing since around 2014. Um, yeah, so. A little one. Okay. I know him quite well. An absolute really rewind and congratulate you on your recent album. Is that your debut? Thanks. Uh, yes, it's my debut album as a leader. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been reviewed and um, very um, a good critical and public acclaim. Coming sure. Um, give us some background to the album. How did it come about? And who it took to record? And what's the, what's the meaning of the title and so on and so forth? Yeah. Um, so. The kind of inspiration for it was uh, going away on an Erasmus exchange from Birmingham to Paris in 2013. So I spent four months there studying at the conservatory and uh, yeah, just had an amazing time. Met lots of great people and yeah, played with lots of great musicians. And so all of the music is sort of inspired by being in Paris and the city and yeah, some people and different things that happened. And, that kind of thing. And the, the title comes from a quote from Ernest Hemingway, who lived in Paris in the 20s. Um, he said, Paris is a movable feast. Uh, so the album's called A Movable Feast, which I, I like. Um, and yeah, it was recorded 2014 in the autumn with some great musicians in Birmingham, four string players and uh, four horn players, like trumpet and three saxophones who double with other things and then guitar, piano, bass, drums, and it's just all of my original music, sort of, uh, yeah, all of the kind of things I was writing at the time. Um, so yeah, that's it, basically. Okay. And uh, the theme behind the album, I mean, like you just said, is what you are writing at the time, is just putting that onto, onto record, is it what it was? Yeah. Out there? Yeah, I mean, I sort of, I had the idea to do it as a project and then sort of the natural conclusion was to try and record the music. Um, so yeah, I was composing a lot over the summer leading up towards the recording and it's sort of an idea I had in the past as well that I'd like to write something with strings and all of these things sort of came together and yeah, ended up sort of composing with a specific thing in mind and then putting it all together to make a recording. So, yeah. yeah. I appreciate it, as most artists tell me that all the tracks usually they're children, you can't choose between your children. Yeah. Um, are there any particular <laughs> tracks for you that on that album that came together quick and to that really surprised you or anything? Um, There's a deeper meaning to you on that album? Hmm. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the first two tracks, they flow into each other, so it's kind of like it's a the little. The track. first track is called A Real Bombshell, um, the second track is called Ode to the Trees. Uh, and yeah, so the first, the first one means, the meaning behind it is that uh, Olivier Messiaen, the French composer, he, when he first saw a score of Debussy's, he said it was a real bombshell, like a big moment for him in his life. So I was like, that's a really cool quote. And also I was into some Messiaen things and some of the harmony I was thinking about was inspired by that, so it, it was nice to use that as a title. Oh, to the Trees, it was uh, like, I took a walk in this amazing park called Bologna, kind of outside of Paris, and there's all these amazing trees, and yeah, that was inspired by that. So yeah, they're both, well, the second one is based on an, an actual memory, which is nice. 
and I just like them as pieces probably most out of all the tracks on the album so yeah okay. maybe those could we were Mark Kunkel yeah um, why piano where did you study where did you come through and why did you choose piano in the first instance um or second I, instance <laughs> yeah well I suppose we had a piano at home in my family house when I was growing up and did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Wells in Somerset, like a very small town. Uh, yeah, really nice, sort of lots of countryside. And yeah, that was good. But we had a piano at home, and I have a brother and a sister, and we all kind of uh, just started learning piano. And then I guess they, at a certain point, trailed off and did other things, and I just carried on learning. So uh, it was sort of that I started and then enjoyed it and just didn't stop, basically. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. That's it. And why did I choose piano? Yeah, just because it was in the house, really. <laughs> what, who were your influences, whether on the piano, first and foremost, or, yeah. or musically? And, and, what, and what genres? Um, I mean, yeah, so many people, like, especially over time, just, yeah, lots of different people from different areas of music. Um, I would say quite consistently I could point to Keith Jarrett as like a big guy for me. Um, yeah, and then people like Paul Blay, I guess a lot of American jazz. And then also quite a few br British artists, piano players, like uh, John Taylor definitely. A lot of young people like Kit Downs I think is a really incredible musician. Um, so yeah, and then... Nowadays, I, I'm listening to a lot of jazz and sort of improvised music and experimental music in that area. Also some classical music. Uh, I, I performed this Messian piece about a year and a half ago, which was a really amazing experience, just preparing and uh, learning that music. So, yeah, him and maybe Bartok and Shostakovich. Yeah, and then I like a lot of electronic music and like 90s East Coast hip hop and folk music from Sweden, and pygmy music in Africa, and just try and digest everything I can because it's all inspiring and somehow feeds into what you're doing. So, yeah. Wonderful. So, uh, I understand you currently reside in Berlin. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, I'm just finishing a master's program, which has been really amazing. Uh, it's called European Jazz Masters. And it started in Berlin, and then I, I moved school every semester. So I went to Copenhagen for six months, and then to Amsterdam, which I just I left at Christmas. And now I go back to Berlin to finish. This year I finish in the summer. Um, so yeah, I just, but I mean, I decided to move to Berlin because I've always been curious about it. And the art scene there is just incredible. It's very thriving, sort of, yeah, so many young people there doing creative things, and... It's really, uh, it's really great, inspiring place to live. So yeah, that's that's it. And also after going to Paris, I was really, I really just had a good feeling about being abroad on the continent and wanted to get to know more places and more people. So yeah, kind of all of those things expand my horizons. <laughs> okay, and the future going through? The future, um, I'm definitely going to stay in Berlin for a while. Like I feel really good about being in Berlin. Um, Do you speak the language? Yeah, I mean, I'm learning, like, I, I, I can speak. It's okay at the moment. I, I want to get better, but yeah, it's getting there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's good. But I mean, who knows in the future? At the moment, I'm slightly addicted. I worry to moving around all the time and meeting new people. So maybe I'll get bored of Berlin in a few years, and then who knows? I just went on a trip to New York, and that was really inspiring. So, like, one day, maybe I could spend some time there. I don't know, but at the moment, Berlin, for sure. And you're assimilating all this and putting it into your music as well? Different yeah, different. yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about traveling around, just so much, yeah, inspiration, different perspectives, and sort of, I had a lot of great teachers when I was studying, and yeah, it all feeds into your thing, and you sort of try and process it, and it comes out in some way or another, so, yeah, it's great. Mark Pickle, thanks for your time, and looking forward to this evening's performance. Yeah, thanks a lot.